Welcome to this Bolt Connector demonstration using Autodesk Nastran InCAD in Inventor. During this video, we're going to run an analysis to find out whether the bolts will outlast the gear or hub under extreme loading conditions. There are a number of ways that these bolted connections can be modeled. The obvious way is to simply do a 3D model of the bolts and allow them to run through. However, this can result in large number of degrees of freedom and fine mesh is required ultimately compromising accuracy. A better way is to use connector elements which are very quick and very fast and will give you the answer of what you want. So we're going to take that approach in this model. We are going to replace those bolt models with a simple 1D connector. We are going to fix the center of the hub and constrain it. And on the outer edge, there are a number of ways to apply this load, but we're going to apply a net force that will be distributed as a pressure around the outer edge. We will choose the box over here to choose the force and then we're going to apply it normal to the surface to the geometry that's shown here. We will apply the load normal to the surface in a total force of 10,000. Now we will create our connector. There are a number of types of connectors available, including rods, cables, springs, and rigid bodies. We will use the one at the bottom called bolt. The element that make up the bolted connector is automatically created. By simply picking surfaces around the model, we can quickly create bolt elements that run all the way around the hub of this model. Once we have the bolted connector done, we can mesh the remainder of the model. We will mesh the remainder of the model with a number of materials and properties representing the two different parts and we'll end up with a mesh here that's fairly fine in the corners. After running the model, we will end up with certain areas around the connectors that have high stresses. We can also look at the connections on the bolt themselves and you can see there are certain high stresses. There's a number of observation available for our beam elements. We can pick out such things as forces and shears in the beam elements by directly querying them in Autodesk Nastran InCAD. By setting the tab key, we can go look at this. By moving over the elements, we can see the forces and stresses. Autodesk Nastran InCAD not only provides the results we need to validate design, as you see in here, it also provides the tools to get the job done faster using connectors.